Gigi, I've decided not to leave this town. Maybe I can stay and find some other nice people who will like me and accept me for who I am. Trusting your spirit, yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. If you have your lot title, import the bearings into the layout space and try to write them down into the space beside. These consist of the distances in meters and the angles and the bearings. Let's try the scale drawing by clicking on the scale tray Say 1 is to 100 meters. Well, it's kind of too big, so let's change it to 1 is to 1000. That's more like it. By drawing every line according to the distance measured, based on the lot title, we can prepare for our calculations later on. Time to calculate. First thing we do is try to open the calculator, Microsoft Calculator. By pressing Alt and Up, you can pin the calculator above each window. Our aim is to convert all the minutes into decimals by dividing it by 60. Then we can transfer the pin or the hand to the edge of the line and input the angle. Our angle instead of uh, degrees and minutes becomes degrees and decimals. Make sure that your angles are in the positive or negative sign depending on the direction you want to go to. In this case, a negative angle goes clockwise or towards the left. We can now finish off the lot plan by transferring every line drawings and converting the angles to decimals while completing the lot layout. This goes northwest and the last line in order to complete the lot plan. Make sure that each point coincides with the number it belongs to. Finalizing our scale, let's go back to the scale tray and choose a scale that fits the paper visibly. We can also input the total lot area into the middle and go back to our lot title to see the adjacent lots. By making the font size smaller around the edges and emphasizing the middle, we can easily read the lot description and its area here. After adding our final annotations, we can now export it into a JPG format We'll save it under 350 dots per inch. This makes it clearer to see when zoomed in.